Hey guys, Logan here, and uh, today I will be reviewing the shoe from uh, Slash Hansen, and it is called the Slash. Um, it's a very nice looking shoe. Right now I have my fisheye lens on, so it looks kind of distorted, but this is the forest green color, and um, right here you have the gold fallen logo, and on the back you see you have the yellowish gold color here and the forest green, along with the fallen logo on the back. A um, bunch of clean stitches around here. As the slash is always to do, it's double stitched around the heavy air, uh, the wear areas. Single stitch around the other places. Um, you can see the stitching is yellow to contrast with the red. It comes with green laces on it, um, but it also does come with a pair of white laces. On the insole is the same as every slash shoe, but I'll go ahead and get that out for you. Not a very good sole. I mean, you're not getting any STI foam footbed or STI fusion, any of that stuff. It's just a plain good old sole. I mean, it's not going to protect your feet from any like 11 stairs or anything, so I would not recommend these. Um, if you're going to be going and jumping down any stair sets. But, underneath it is just some good normal padding. Um, really thick tongue. These are size 10 and a half. But, um, let's get into the shoe. So on the bottom of the shoe, you see the sole. The sole right here is just a normal vulcanized sole. Nothing impressive really. The treads are not that deep, but they're deep enough to last you probably about a month. And onto the midsole. The midsole, again, is vulcanized construction. Um, not double wrapped like a lot of shoes are coming out lately. There's no double wrap around the tongue or the uh, nose of the shoe. Um, and you can just see the little red rim around it. And then the little tread pattern right up in the front where the heavy wear areas will be. And again, on this is actually on the heavier wear areas. There's double stitched. But if you can see right up on the front, like right here, it's actually like like I don't even know what you would call that it's like cross stitch through the double stitch and then there's another stitch right there so I guess you would call it triple stitch but I have actually not skated these yet but in a few seconds you'll see what they look like after a little skate session in them I'll probably be skating for about an hour um, tray flips etc I'll show you a few clips of me skating in them but yeah hope you guys like this and uh, here we go That was sexy as hell. Okay. That was sexy. Hey guys, this is this after the skate session. It was actually about a half hour on an hour. Um, and I've done bunches of tray flips, kick flips, backside flips, you name it. Um, and that's pretty much what's happened. Not much, not too bad. It's not great, but it's not bad. These shoes skate amazingly. I cannot even stress how good they skate. At first I thought they were not that good because of the board feel, and the board feel was not that good, but after you broke them in, they literally break in within the first few minutes you start skating. Now, the things I noticed... Uh, after that is that the eyelets right there get scratched up a little bit, but who really cares about that? Um, usually when I skate shoes, the laces tear out really fast. Um, literally within like five minutes of skating them. These laces are still holding up really nice. Um, I did notice a little bit of a uh, tearing up top there, but nobody really cares about that either. Um, sole still fine. You do notice a little bit of roughing uh, around the edges. That's just from skating in general. That's going to happen with any shoe you buy. Um, a little bit of marks, scuffs, just the average. So, um, the shoe's really good. I like it. Um, I did not think they were going to skate that well. Um, I was using, uh, using these as my school shoes, kind of, or at least one of my school shoes. I have a shit ton of them. But, um, yeah, I mean, the shoe's a really good uh, shoe to skate. Um, it's a good shoe. I'm pretty sure it's going to be durable. I have not skated it that long. Obviously, I've skated it for about a half hour. So, my mind could change on these, but... As of right now, I like the shoe. So that's pretty much it, guys. Hope you liked the video. Later.